I don't like that. Goodbye. <laughs> I ain't even given him the chance. Heck is this place? So you use the drain sewers as a means of transport? Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we weren't using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. I have a f Oh. I was afraid that that was gonna start water flow and then BAM! Water monster's back. Darn it. Brick. I need to find some- Ah, fuck. Oh. Alright. No water monster. Yet. Oh! Oil! Well, that was easy. There's no monsters in sight. Control room. that. Counterweights? Where does this thing go? Where do you go? I'm sure this must- this must go somewhere. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. What does that do? Hmm. Bam. I am smart. God, this place is musty. Wooden crank. Hammer. A very bouncy hammer at that. Right here. Nothing. Ah, must be a rubber hammer. That way you don't that way you don't break whatever you're hammering by accident. Machine. 13th of January, 1799. Wow. The work I put into this machine is unequaled by the reasoning of any man. The thought that generations of men have passed away since I first attempted to reconstruct the design is most tiring. The limitations of this world have made my work incredibly difficult. It, was for it has forced me to build the thing almost a hundred times larger than the delicate contraption it tries to emulate. Not to mention the, f the flow of tamed lightning crudely replaced by pressured steam pushing its way through pipes and turbines. It shames me to think of what the inventor would have thought of my monster. Where he works with a magnifying glass to carefully fix all the parts, I push five men to erect a tower of wrought iron and hope it will have even the tiniest hint of the power found in a traveler's locket. Traveler's locket. What's a traveler's locket? I don't think I tried the levers over here. Huh. Copying what is happening on the other side seemed to work. I should probably try the same thing over here.
about there. Yeah, it looks about right. That one is just above the top pipe, the middle. Yes. That one is... Hmm. Oh, I did it. I don't know what I did, but I did it. Daniel, is that you? What are you doing? Who's there? How do you know my name? Uh, I don't like that. Those holes in the wall. going on in this room? No sign. Hmm. There was two levers outside this door I didn't pull. Maybe it has something to do with those. Maybe I need to pull them now. Okay, so I repaired the machine powering this bridge. That all that shit powers this. A fucking pulley. But when he said he was it was a monster of a machine adapted from something tiny, I thought he was exaggerating, but apparently not. Really inefficient. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking room? Yeah, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mill. Exactly. Water. Don't like being in the water. Makes me nervous. I don't even know where I'm. Hmm. Redirect sewer water. Seventh of August, eighteen thirty-nine. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused 
and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon where he preferred to attempt his rituals. Human sacrifice. It turns out that Alexander is a true renaissance man, paralleled only by da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenberg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Did it get darker in here? I think it got darker in here. Yes, it did. I need my lantern now. Hmm. Ooh, is that a chest? I'll light this. I'm gonna need to go around the other side, though. It's a fish. I'm not alone. I miss Jesus though. I want to find another G another another cross. That way I won't be lonely anymore. Bridge must be lowered to proceed. I already know that. Hmm. Ah, fucking maybe jump. Fuck you, Steam. But praise Gaben. Fuck Steam, praise Gaben. You know, different kinds of Steam. 8th August, 1839. I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying, but Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Did it? Alexander quickly covered the orb in hmm. cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. All right, so uh, that's the cause of the flesh growing everywhere.
Oh, glitchy texture. It's just a rock. It's just a rock. I'm fine. Uh. Hmm. Lower the bridge. Where do I go now? Do I use a tool on it? I have this wooden crank. Some place for me to put this crank that I found? box hmm. I'm a little stumped <laughs> 